friendship is a bit like a match. Like, the moment the match hits the side of the box and strikes a flame. That's when you talk for the first time or message each other or start to hang out. And that's when it grows, the friendship. And it's really intense and exciting and overwhelming. Or it should be anyway. It never really feels like that for me. It's almost as if the match never lights. I'm in Clara's kitchen. I know Clara from when we were little, but we don't really speak anymore. And all Clara's other friends are here who are so cool and really loud and always talking about video games and have such a cool taste in clothes. And then there's me. I was invited by Clara's mum. Oh, it'd be lovely, just lovely to have Macy there. Yeah, Macy would love it. Wonderful. Drive around about six-ish. See you then. Oh, look who it is. It's been so long. Come say hi to everyone. We're just about to have some food. She's definitely forgotten my name. I mean, what am I even doing here? They're all laughing about things, talking about things I've never heard. All these inside jokes with me just stood here, saying nothing. And then we're all looking at this random stranger thinking, who's that random girl? What a loser. Does Maisie even go to our school? I heard Clara's mum invited her. For me, friendship feels scary. And that match that I've been trying to light, it's broken. Clara, how about you have never met Maisie before? Oh yeah, she's so nice, isn't she? I haven't seen her in ages. Yeah, we should invite her to that bowling thing next Saturday. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, I'll text her. So, it's easier to just keep the match in its box. It's easier to just stay at home and not go out. What actually is a friend? It might sound really obvious, but... Hey, are you walking home later? Got happened to match. Ah, right. Have a good game. Thanks. You know that feeling when it seems like you're friends with someone when you're in class together? It's like you're brilliant friends, and then the lesson ends. Do you want to get the bus or the train to the cinema tonight? Sorry, I forgot. I can't make tonight anymore. And as soon as they walk out the classroom door, it's like they don't even know you. Let's get started with some conversation starters to support your well-being. Everybody get into pairs. Hi. Hi. Bit awkward. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? My bed. <laughs> yeah, good answer. If you could meet anyone, dead or alive, who would you meet? Taylor Swift. No way! Have you heard a new album? You know you're becoming friends with someone when the conversation comes easy. I've got the house to myself tonight. I can't wait. I'm gonna eat all the snacks I want and have a full all-nighter of Mario Kart on the sofa. Or when you complain to them about your family. I mean, my little sister always storms into my room demanding me watch the whole box set of Fireman's Set. <laughs> Being the oldest is the worst. I just bribe my brother with chocolate. <laughs> Or when you tell each other random stories. That's like, so my dad fell into the stream, right? Well, actually it was a giant puddle and it was a freezing cold day, so it was basically ice. He nearly got hypothermia. Right. Uh, 
I asked the beans with this. The worst place for any teenager to be on their own, on an empty table, eating your lunch. Come on, Mark, at least pretend to be on your phone. Hey, Maisie, you know that place by the river we were talking about? Do you fancy going for a walk there? After school today? At four? A walk is the most personal thing you can ask someone to do. You reject the walk, you reject the person. First of all, in a group chat. She's opened the message. Look, she's typing. Oh, she stopped typing. It's been five minutes since the typing notification. It's been 20 minutes since the typing notification. Being left on red is embarrassing and the most common form of rejection. If you get left on red, that means you weren't even worth them coming up with a single response. Your life is over. There's no coming back from this. You work with her. You've got lessons tomorrow. Maybe she just has a very, very, very bad memory. Like a goldfish. Maybe you should move schools. Maybe you should flee the country. Or maybe she just doesn't want to be your mate. I liked your presentation. You're just gonna keep ignoring me? I'm not. Have I done something? I've just been busy. Lots of homework. Exams are finished now? It's... well, yeah. Just... Are we mates? You don't realise, but I'm actually really socially awkward. I get in my own head a lot. What if, one day, everyone just decides Maisie's weird. I feel panicked and anxious around people and, you know, it's like striking a match. What? Look, the truth is, I just panicked. Sometimes I doubt myself and I didn't know what to say. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Well, I know what you mean. I sometimes feel the same. I'm going to Eliza's party on Friday. Let me know if you want to come. After you, though. No pressure. Thanks. <laughs> 